Good day. Welcome all for the lecture series on programming for problem solving. Okay, I am Dr. Kotlingam with SRM ISD. See, in the previous lectures, we have seen about evolution of programming and languages as well as introduction to problem solving through programming. So now we are in the phase of seeing about creating algorithms. See, before uh, moving to the parts of uh, saying about algorithms or the concepts of, of algorithms, let us go with the definition of algorithms. An informal definition of an algorithm is a step-by-step -step method for solving a problem or doing a task. See, let us begin with a very simple definition. An algorithm is an outline of the steps that the program has to take or any computation procedure has to take. See, basically a program is an implementation of an algorithm. That is, a set of instructions can be converted into one procedural way which is called an algorithm. And every program takes an algorithm to, to execute. For any given problem, you can create an algorithm to solve it. From the start to the end, you can have steps, you can have instructions to solve the problem and which can be used in any programming language to solve the given problem. Let us start with the fundamental question. Given certain problem, how do you solve it through computers? Yes, algorithms will give answers for that. Yes, algorithms will give answers quickly when you do it through a, a procedure way. It takes an input data and processes with its step-by-step -step procedure and gives an output. What are algorithms for? The way to communicate about your problem solution with others. Whenever there is a problem, when it's in, it's, it, whenever there is a given problem, we need a steps to solve it which we call it as a way to communicate to the solution, I mean, to attain the solution. It is the only possible way to solve the given problem. It is a formula or a set of methods or a set of procedures or a set of itineraries that will be proved. Every formula can be proved. So basically an algorithm is a formula or a formalization of a method. See, before implementing any solution through a programming language, you need an in-hand algorithm. An in-hand algorithm is a set of instruction. See, the definition given for an algorithm is a finite sequence of unambiguous executable steps or instructions which if follow would ultimately turn it and give the solution of the problem. At this juncture, I recommend to read the book Introduction to Algorithms by Foreman. This is one of the fantastic books available in the market to know about algorithms. Before seeing about the notations, I would like to say something about algorithms. An algorithm is said to be correct if for every input instance it halts with the correct output. I mean once you give an input it needs to halt on the right output. We say that a correct algorithm solves the given computation problem. An incorrect algorithm might not halt at all on some input instances. So if you algorithm is not proper and, and by no way you can halt at the right output, it will keep on execute, else it will keep on execute the wrong solution or it might halt with an answer other than desired one. Yes, if it is incorrect, it will be ended up in getting an undesired one, I mean the, the unexpected answer can be 
uh, the, the, the other answer can be assigned through an incorrect algorithm. See, every algorithm has certain notations, a starting point, step numbers, incoming information. The starting point is the start of the algorithm, I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the initial procedure, procedural step to start an algorithm, step numbers. For every single step, for every single instruction can be can be uh, uh, made as steps, it should have step numbers or instruction numbers, step 1, step 2, step 3, instruction 1, instruction 2, instruction 3, until the end of the algorithm you have to give steps for every single procedure. Incoming information, that is the data you want to process with the uh, uh, algorithm, that is called in input or incoming information. Control flow or order of evaluating the instruction, in which order you have to evaluate. Basically, in, in, in mathematical perspective, there are operator presences there. That is one of the uh, examples we can say if for uh, order of evaluating the instructions. If suppose you want to add two numbers, A plus B, and you have to assign it to C, this operator presence plays a vital role, which you need to add A and B and you have to assign to C. And which operator has to proceed first and which, oper which operator has to proceed next, which is called a control flow. Statements. There are n number of statements you can give it in an algorithm. I mean, with respect to your uh, control flow, you can you, you, you can assign in statements. Hmm. Outgoing informations. What is the solution of the problem? That is called an outgoing information or an output attained uh, after uh, generating uh, an algorithm. I mean, or, or a fruitful uh, result which we attain from an algorithm. And which is also called the ending point of the algorithm. I mean, it has to halt. I said, no, it, it has to halt. The algorithm has to halt. After attaining the respective solution, you have to give an instruction to halt the algorithm. This halting is in the sense the program has to stop after the constant output has been attained. Properties of an algorithm. Finite. Complete. Correct. The algorithm must eventually terminate. Yes, at one point of time, after attaining the desired solution, it has to stop. That is, it has to terminate. Complete. Always give a solution when one exists. You should not, uh, uh, I mean, um, I mean, give, uh, if, uh, one, if suppose you have drawn something, if suppose you have uh, you made an algorithm, it has to give a solution. It has to give a solution. I mean, every algorithm has a solution. You cannot draw an algorithm without giving a solution. Even if it is right or wrong, it has to give a solution. Correct. Always give a correct solution. See, this complete and correct are correlated. You have to, it has to give a solution as well as it has to give a correct solution. Rules for writing an algorithm. Be consistent. Have well-defined input and output. Do not use any syntax of any specific programming languages. I mean, while writing the algorithm, um, your algorithm needs to be uh, consistent. I mean, it, it, it has the aspects of of, of of running in a specific programming language, or it has the aspects of it can run in any number of programming language, because no algorithms are, 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 are designed with respect to a specific programming languages. Algorithms are designed with respect to a specific problem. A well-defined input and output. See, you have, a, you have crafted a well-defined algorithm. If you are not giving the right input, I mean, there is no correlation between, I mean, I mean what, I mean, uh, and giving a wrong input to a right algorithm or a right input to a wrong algorithm. There, there are hiccups will be there. There are, there are mismatches will be there. So, while crafting the uh, algorithm, you should decide about what input you are going to give to an algorithm. And you should not design an algorithm with respect to a specific programming language. See, these are few steps in um, algorithm development process. Step number one, obtain a description of the problem. You should observe the problem. You should understand the problem. That is step number one. Analyze the problem. Fine. What is an exact uh, I mean, I mean, terminology and what is an exact uh, 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 issue in a given problem and what we need to address it. That is called analyze the problem. Develop a high level algorithm. 
see your algorithm must be high level in the sense uh, it is the it is it is it is the in level it is the complete level you should not have uh, i mean i mean i mean, I mean refinement you should not have um, next level of an algorithm i mean for solving one problem you can have n number of algorithms you can have n number of algorithms but you should choose with respect to uh, i mean which is optimal and which is feasible and which is fast so this things this things says that whether your algorithm is high level or not refine the algorithm by adding more details after drafting the algorithm you have to check i mean what in what, what variables can be assigned and what functions can be used if we use this function it will it will run in this time if we use this function the number of lines will be reduced so such a way you have to correlate uh, for refining the algorithm review of the algorithm before run before giving before making it to a programming language you should review all the components from start to end to the control flow to the statements and every single component in an algorithm must be reviewed before running the algorithm see we have given an example here to develop an algorithm for finding the largest integer among a list of positive integers see this is one common um, i mean uh, example can be used for uh, for for explaining algorithms to solve this problem we need an intuitive approach first you use a small number of integers then you extend the solution to any number of integers for example it is 5 the algorithm receives a list of 5 integers as input and gives the largest integer as output see you can see the tabulation here for an output data and the uh, in the left side you can see how the algorithm propagates in the right side the steps are given very clear we have numbers as 12 8 13 9 and 11 we are taking the first number as the largest number and comparing the next number if it is low it has to continue if it is high it has to replace by such a way if the 12 has been compared with 8 then it is low then again it remains as 12 the 12 has been compared with 13 it is high now the largest number has been replaced to 13 now 13 has been compared with 9 so it is still it remains 13 since because 9 is low then 9 then 13 is compared with 11 So still it is less, so it continues that in. This is the proper way to find the largest number within a given set of numbers. Example two, print one to twenty. Start step one. Start step two. Change place x to zero. Then increment by one. I mean this x has to be increment by one. Then print x until 20. You have to do the same process again and again. Why? Suppose that if if x is greater than, I mean, if x is uh, greater than 20, you have to halt and you can print all the n number of 1 to 20. It is stop. So these are list of given examples. You have to work it on home. Thank you. See you on the next lecture.